What is going on everybody? This is Justin Martinez, AKA J the Sports Dude, here to give you all a tutorial on how to recreate the New Mexico State men's basketball team on NBA 2K20 if you're using the PlayStation 4. Now I did this a couple days back and I've actually been simulating a season as the Aggies in the NBA. And if you wanna check out my gameplay, you can go ahead and follow me on Twitch. It is streaming every night at 6 p.m. Mountain Time. So go ahead and check that out, please. But for those who actually wanna get their hands on the squad, here's a tutorial on how to do that. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna be on NBA 2K20. Like I said, only the PlayStation 4. Unfortunately, I didn't recreate it on the Xbox because I don't have an Xbox. So this is how you're gonna do it, guys. You're gonna go over to Features on the main menu and you're gonna go to Create Roster. Now once you do that, it's gonna give you a couple of options. Official 2K Sports Roster is the actual NBA roster. User Creator Roster is other people's stuff. And an injury free is just taking out injuries for the real roster. You're going to go to user created roster. And that's where you can either search my roster name or my gamer tag. So the roster name is NMSU roster, as you can see there on the screen. I already, since it is something I created, it's popping up. But what you're going to have to do is actually press triangle and search. And like I said, you can search online ID, which is my gamer tag. That's jmart underscore 956 capital J, capital M, A R T underscore 956, or you can search by content name, which is that roster name. As I said, all caps NMSU and then roster, but you can do either one. Let's just go ahead and search my gamer tag. J Mart underscore 956. Cool, so as you can see, they're popping up right there. Um, the reason why there's two of them I wouldn't click on this one that has 21 downloads. Uh, what I did is, or no, yes, do click on this one. The Aggies one was sort of an experimental one, so some of the ratings are a little bit off. So click on the NMSU roster one. But yeah, so once you click on that, that is gonna upload the roster onto your 2K20 video game. And once that's done, as you can see, we got the created players here. Uh, now this is a little bit different from those who actually read my article. Um, Trevor is supposed to be an 88 overall, but what I went ahead and I did is I bumped everybody down by two overall in order to make it a little bit more competitive because for those who have been following my streams, um, when they're all at their original setting at 88, they were supposed to be 86s right here. Uh, they're blowing out teams by like 20 points. So I went and I dropped everybody down by two and that actually made last night's or tonight's game that I just streamed a lot more competitive. Uh, they only lost to the Spurs, but I think it was about like six points or something like that. So I recommend doing it this way. Um, but yeah, so once you see that, you're not gonna find them under the New Mexico State tab because you haven't, you haven't actually created the New Mexico State team yet. We're gonna get into that in a little bit. So right now they're just free agents on this roster. But you're gonna press circle and you're gonna press save roster. And then you can go ahead and type in the file. You can name it whatever you want. Um, I'm just gonna name it Aggies. Cool. So this is saving it onto, onto your game. So it's gonna take a little while. And it should take me back to the main menu after this. Cool. So now that we have that done, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to my league because uh, that's where you're doing this season. Um, you're going to press, I'm pressing triangle because I already have some other stuff loaded and I'm going to my league. But if you haven't done a my league, it should kind of look like this, where if you just press X right here, it'll take you straight to the settings because I don't already have something done, if that makes sense. But um, yeah, press on my league. I'm going over here and it's going to take you to this page. Now what you want to do, this is the really important part, is before you click on current teams, uh, league expansion or custom league, you're going to go to select roster, which is the triangle button. And that's how you're going to get back to this page that we were seeing earlier. And you're going to get to the user created roster and go to whatever you named it as. So I named it Aggies. That's where it is. So I'm going to press that. And that's what's going to actually put the New Mexico State players into this uh, new simulated league. So now that we have that done, you're gonna to go to league expansion and that's how we're gonna add the actual New Mexico State team with the jerseys and the court and all that kind of stuff. So you're gonna to go to league expansion and you're gonna start an off season isn't available once you put in a custom roster, but that's fine. We weren't gonna do that anyway. 
you're gonna go to start in regular season. The reason why you want that over start in off season is start in off season is gonna start you off in the 2019 summer. So prior to this 2019, 2020 season, and that can affect where the rookies are gonna go. So Zion might not go to the Pelicans, stuff like that, you know what I mean? So you're gonna to wanna to go to start in regular season and that's gonna start off with uh, the right year. Now you can add up to six expansion teams. Um, I only created one for New Mexico State. So you're gonna click on that and then go to download team design. And this is where you're gonna be able to upload somebody else's design. Uh, once again, you're gonna press triangle in order to search and you're gonna to have to search my gamer tag here because the jerseys isn't named like NMSU like uh, the roster was. So you're actually gonna to have to search my gamer tag. Uh, one second, why did I press that? So it's gonna be J Mart underscore nine five six. And once you do that, a couple of options are gonna pop up. I went ahead and gave you guys some stuff to kind of mess around with. So the one you're gonna see on the top right is the official New Mexico State one. That has the home white jersey and the black alternate jersey. I couldn't figure out how to make the crimson one uh, that you see on the road. So those are the two that are the real NMSU rosters, I mean jerseys. And then these two right here on the top left and bottom left are custom ones that I did. So that third alternate jersey, you can see on the bottom left, is a uh, paying homage to the New Mexico flag. As you can see, it's got the Zia symbol there and then the jersey number in the middle. I thought it'll look pretty sick. And then at the top left is a bit of a throwback, almost like a Jackie Moon type of uh, type of jersey there, the tropics. As you can see, it's got the strap going along the side, plus the hints of teal, which is what you see on New Mexico State's throwback jersey that they've been uh, wearing this season. You can pick either of the three that you guys want. If you don't want to use my custom one, that's fine. Let's just go ahead and go with the um, the actual uh, official one. So the one that's kind of pitch black right now is the one that you're selecting. Looks kind of weird when you do it that way, but um, yeah, so right now the one that's pitch black is the two jerseys, so that's what I'm picking. You're gonna go to preview slash download design, and there it is. So there's the Pan American Center, and there are the jerseys, and if you want to go back, you can press triangle and pick one of these again. So if you accidentally press on the wrong one, just press circle, I mean, to uh, go back. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and go with this one. Apply design the current team by pressing X. And it might take a little while for this because it's uploading the jerseys and the court and all that. But uh, just give that a second. So now that we have the roster and the jersey, what you're gonna do is since you're an expansion team, you're not starting off with New Mexico State's players. You actually have to draft players that were made available by other NBA teams, similar to like what you saw with the NHL when they added the, uh, the Knights recently, a couple years back. So we have this already set. We're gonna go uh, forward by pressing the options button. And if you wanna have the same setup as I do, um, during my Twitch streams, you're going to go to Setup Options. If you just want to have a standard NBA season, you can just go ahead and press Start Mode. But I had to customize it. So I wanted it to replicate the NCAA season. So by that, I made it a 30-game season with the quarters being 10 minutes each. So that way it adds up to 40 minutes like an NCAA game instead of the NBA's 48 minutes. Um, you're going to make the playoffs one-game elimination, just like March Madness. And... You can just go ahead and leave all this the same. I'm going to say turn chemistry off for teams because what you're going to do is you're going to draft a team right now made up of players made available by other teams and you're going to release all of them and then sign New Mexico State's players because they're going to be put into this as free agents. So when you drop your whole team and then sign a whole new team, your team chemistry is going to start off at zero and that can affect uh, how well they play. So I'd just go ahead and I'd turn off team chemistry. Um, I also turn off salary cap, which I know makes it very unrealistic, but since some of these players or most of these players are 80 overalls, they're going to be asking for like, all of them are going to ask for around 20 million a year. And you know, obviously you can't afford to pay 15 guys around 20 million a year. So it's just easier to turn off the salary cap. Um, if you want to try to work around that, I would say go over to difficulty and you can lower contract negotiation difficulty all the way. That makes them more willing to accept less money. But even then, I still think it's gonna be hard to get it under the salary cap. So I just recommend 
going ahead and turning off the salary cap. Um, injuries, I go ahead and I just turn that off anyways. This is if you want to do, like if you want to turn off rookie signing restrictions, all this stuff, that's up to you. I leave it on. Um, the way I've been doing it on the Twitch streams in order to get all these games really close is by going to Hall of Fame gameplay difficulty and simulator difficulty at 91. Now, obviously, if you don't play at Hall of Fame, if you want to actually play the games and not simulate it, you can choose whatever difficulty you want. But this just for the sake of simulating it. These are the exact settings that I use. I actually have it at 92. Um, yeah, and so now that we've got that set, you're going to press options to advance. And you're going to select the team you want. We're selecting the Aggies. You're going to press advance again. Now, this option lets you pick, like, you can take control over multiple teams. So by doing that, like you can see, I can actually control all teams or whatever. I just leave it all as it is. And then we're going to go over to the expansion draft. Now, if you're going to play multiple seasons, a uh, really cool thing that you can do is you can actually load other like realistic draft classes. So that's what I usually do when I do my league. But if you're only doing one season, you can ignore all of this. Um, but you can go to user create a draft class and the 2020 NBA draft, somebody named Jack Move actually went ahead and created the upcoming draft that's going to have, um, you know, LaMelo Ball, uh, Obi Toppin, and all those kinds of guys. So you can go ahead and do that if you want to add it. Um, I usually press yes here. This means that the storylines for each player is a little bit more unpredictable. So even though um, I guess like James Wiseman appears to be like a, a really good player there might be something where like you know he turns out to be a bust it just makes it a little less predictable so i usually click yes here so now we're on the expansion draft and what i'm going to do is so these are the players that were made available these are the teams that the rest of the nba chose not to protect i go ahead and i just draft the absolute worst players because if you draft keep in mind you're going to drop all of these guys anyways you're going to release them in order to make roster spots for new mexico state so in order to keep the rest of the league as realistic as possible you know you don't want to take paul Millsap away from the nuggets you don't want to take dwight howard away from the lakers so it's just easier to pick the worst players so that way it doesn't affect the rest of the league so that's what I'm doing right here, just by going to the worst overall guys. Um, you can just scroll all the way to the bottom and select every time, but the quickest way to do it is just what I've been doing. You just go over to overall and you press square in order to sort it from least to greatest. And you're gonna do it that way. This might take a little bit of time. But yeah, all of these guys, you're gonna end up releasing them in order to make room for New Mexico State. Cause like I said, those players are going to enter this game, uh, they're going to start off in the free agency pool. So you're going to have to actually sign them. So the, I think there's 14 spots here that you have to go through. Again, just picking the worst players to keep the rest of the, the league just intact. Cool. So once you have that done, you're going to press X and exit the draft. So now the season started. As you can see, we got our 30 game schedule, but your roster is these guys. Now, in order to get rid of them, um, 2K has this really weird thing where you can't drop your whole team. I think it caps out at about maybe like 12 players you can drop, um, but we'll get into that. I'll show you that in a bit. So what I usually do is instead of just releasing some of these guys, I'm actually gonna put them um, in the trade finder so you're going to press on the guy and you're going to press the options button and some team is going to offer you like a second round pick. You're going to do that just because it frees up a uh, roster spot. So you're going to do that with anyone that will take that deal. Um, like Let's see if they'll offer one for this guy, Lewis King. They won't. Again, the reason why you're only going for a draft pick here is because you're just trying to free up a roster spot. But you should, you don't have to do this with every single player. I think you only have to do it with like three of them and you can just release the rest of them. I don't know why 2K is like that, but um, it just is. So so now that we got that done, uh, you can only have a, um, a minimum of 11 players at one time. So I can't just drop all of them and have a roster of zero 
and then sign New Mexico State. You're going to have to go back and forth with it. So free agents, as you can see, this is where they are. Um, now their ratings do go up for some reason. Um, I'm not sure why it does this. So once you sign them, you can just go through all of their um, attributes and drop everything by two, and that'll drop their overall by two. Again, I don't know why it's not uploading Traveling Queen as an 86, like what the roster was. Maybe it's just because when he comes in, he has more value as an 88. I don't know, but um, I'll show you how to fix that in a bit. Now, again, we turned off the salary cap, so you can just sign these guys to whatever they want. You can make it a four-year deal if you're playing multiple seasons um, by doing that. In order to do that, you just go over here. Like, there you go. But again, this is just one season, so I, I'm not really concerned about that. And you can only have a max of 15 players, so that's why it's saying my roster is full right now, so that's why... I have to go back to the roster here and start actually releasing these uh, guys just to free agency. Like I said, since we traded away three of them, I think we should be able to just drop these guys without any problems. So now we're back down to 11. So we go back here and sign four more New Mexico State guys. So roster is full, got to go back over here. Oh, and the reason why you don't want to, when this pops up, I could sign CJ, but I could only sign him to a two-way contract, meaning you'll have to be in the G League. So that's why I don't do that. I just go over to roster and drop the rest of uh, these guys. I think that should be the minimum. Yeah, so we're back down to 11. I got to go through and sign these guys again. Sean Buchanan. Sean Williams. Cool. Now, last time, got to go over here and release the last of these guys. So you see right here, like I was saying, we reached that max where it's not going to let me drop him for some reason because 2K caps out where I guess you can't drop like 12 people. So we're going to have to trade him just for a draft pick. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Uh, so yeah, we're going to have to trade him just for a draft pick. And if a team doesn't accept it on Trade Finder, we're going to have to create our own trade. This is what I was talking about where it says it gets really tedious. Um, so you might have to wing it a little bit, but you can go to Propose Trade. Uh, find that player that you want to get rid of. Uh, Luis King. And find a team that's going to take him just for a draft pick. Now the way I make that work is I usually just go over here and I give them like... I usually just give them a, like a 20-23 draft pick. A first rounder that they they're gonna accept it you know because they want the pick and it's in 2023 so it doesn't really affect you so we need to find a team that's gonna take that so there you go we're losing this trade obviously but it creates space and we'll be good after that so now we have our final two roster spots open where we can uh our final three roster spots where we can sign the George joseph the rest of them. I don't know what they have, man. Tennessee Owens and Bryce Rewalt. Cool. So now you have your full roster. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 guys. And like I said, if you want to drop their overalls, you're going to press the options button. Press X, and you're going to have to go through all of these attributes and drop them all by two, if that's what you want to do. If you want to keep them at the, the 88 and 86, you can go ahead and do that too. That's just your preference, but yeah, that's how you adjust the, the attributes, is by pressing options, 
X and using the, um, what is this, R3, this analog right here, in order to lower everything. You'll press circle and you'll press confirm changes, but again, that's up to you if you want to do that. And now that you have that done, you can go ahead and go to the coach's game plan, press X, and this is how you're gonna adjust the minutes for players. I'm just gonna show you what I have it at, and obviously you guys can adjust it however you want. But this is the, I'm just trying to do the exact setup that I've been using for Twitch. So you guys can copy it completely if you want to, or make your own changes. You can move Terrell into the starting lineup, whatever you want to do. But um, this is what I've been doing so far. 20 minutes for Evan Gilliard. These minutes are also based off of what the team was, uh, what the players were getting last season. So it is accurate. There's just a little bit of differences because obviously AJ Harris didn't play last season. So that's 25 minutes he has to get that the rest of the team has to make up for. It. So they're a little bit off from what it actually was last season, but this is more or less um, the realistic version. About 15 for Sean. Sean Williams, since he entered the transfer portal, what I've just been doing is keeping them as a reserve. Um, that way we can actually have uh, Tennessee and Bryce both in the game because that's just become the fan favorite thing is to have them both in the game. So, Because the reason why I'm saying that, you can only have 13 players actually that you can sub in during a game. The other two of your 15 have to be reserves. Um, so that's why I have it as the way that it is. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so these two I just have them as reserves. I have Bryce and Tennessee each given four minutes. CJ 16. Uh, let's see. There are both two. Because I want to get Will up to 11 minutes. I think that's right around what he got. So 21 for him. Cool. So that's the game plan for the minutes. That's uh, what I've been using on Twitch. 25, 26, 26, 26. You guys can see it. And then you're going to press circle. It'll save it. System proficiency, proficiency is the type of def or, uh, playing style the team has been using. I have it as defense, which I feel is the most realistic one for New Mexico State. You're going to press X in order to make it active. And you're going to go to triangle. Now, also, your coach right now is this guy named Milan Mack. So the way to change it, I actually have it as Chris Jans. Um, on Twitch, the way to change that is by going to front office and then going to staff. And you can actually just click on him and edit him and just turn him into Chris Jans essentially. So let's do that. See, we got three people actually online right now. That's pretty cool. I was just gonna post this on YouTube, but um, I was having a problem. Apparently you can't live stream directly to YouTube until you set up your account for like 24 hours. So that's why I'm just live streaming this on Twitch. And I'll upload this video on YouTube, which is probably what most of y'all are gonna be watching this when you're playing back. Um, yeah, so now that we got it as Chris stands, you can try to find a face that looks like him. There's like 200 options. You can't actually customize the face like what I did with the players. So I don't remember which one I did for Jans, honestly. I couldn't find one that looked like him. But yeah, I'll just leave that for for you guys to mess around with, so. So yeah, once you get that done, um, you can go over to attributes. I had him as a four, no, I had him as a three year because he's been coaching three seasons with the team. I know this is years left. So he has two years left on his contract, I think. Might be wrong. Um, okay, so offense, I have him at a A minus for coaching. Defense, I have him as an A. This is all relative to the whack. That's why the ratings are gonna be a high. Uh, potential, I just have it as an A. None of this stuff applies to 
college basketball, so I just leave that alone. Team style is where you can actually get into more of the team's playing style. The reason why this is important is when you're simulating the games, this is how the team is going to play. Um, so you can pick three team styles. Skill number one, or style number one is going to be like their go-to style. Style number two is going to be a little less often than style one, and then style three is, you get, you know what I'm saying? Um, so the way that I have them, I think it was, at, let me see, two-way, just because they are they have a lot of two-way players. Then I had three-point shooting, and then I had high IQ, because they try to put an emphasis on uh, ball security. Offense versus defense, um, I have them as a, as they lean on defense. Guards versus forwards, I think is balanced. Inside versus out, I think they, let's see. Yeah, they lean towards the uh, the outside shot. Preferred system for Jans is gonna be defense. The active system is defense. Um, defensive proficiency, I had him at a 90. This is all like super tedious stuff. So if you don't want to do this, I don't think it'll affect the simulation very much. But this is just what I've been doing. Um, 85 for that post centric. I think I gave him like a 75 because they don't really lean on the post too much. Triangle proficiency. Nobody runs the triangle in 2020. Seven seconds. Proficiency. Um, Say like a 70, they don't really run the seven second offense very much. They like to get into the half court offense a lot. Pace and space, I think is pretty high. They have a lot of guys like Johnny that can provide spacing. So I'll put that at an 85. Grid and grind. I wouldn't say they're the most physical team, but I would give them like a 75 because they're kind of undersized. Uh, and then balance proficiency, I'm going to put really high because I think they're one of the more balanced teams in the WAC. So like a 95. <laughs> yeah, so that's all the uh, the stuff for Coach Jans. And you're just going to go to circle or press circle and then keep changes and exits. So there you go. You got Chris Jans. Looks nothing like him. Not even the same race. But like I said, you can find a different face if you want for it. And if you really wanted to get crazy, you could actually change the assistant coach and get like Corey Barker and James Miller and Casey Owens and all that. I don't have time for that. So, and I, it doesn't affect the simulation at all. So yeah, I think that is it. Um, if there are any things, if there are any changes you want to do to my designs, you can do that here on relocation. So you can actually change certain aspects of the Pan American Center if you wanted to. Um, you can change the jerseys if you think something's a little bit off by all means Feel free to go there. Like actually this is a little bit off That needs to go up a little bit higher But yeah, you can change all of that there And that is about it. I think changes and exit Like I said if you guys want to actually watch um, my gameplay, I don't actually play the games. I just simulate it. I've been doing one game every night um, at 6 p.m. Mountain Time on Twitch. I'll go ahead and if you're watching this on YouTube, I'll leave the link to my Twitch in the description. If you're watching this on Twitch right now, I'll leave the link to my YouTube channel in the description here um, because that's where you can go and find all the previous games, unedited film, put on my YouTube channel. It's going to be on Twitch too, but it only lasts for about I think 14 days and then it just automatically deletes so yeah guys that is it i'm gonna go ahead and uh sign off then so this has been a tutorial on how to create the new mexico state men's basketball team hopefully this is helpful but if you have any more questions or you ran into some problems feel free to reach out to me on twitter at jay the sports dude and that is going to be it so peace